Good morning, investors and traders. This is Naim Azam, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's segment, we will be talking about gold prices, which are sharply bouncing to the upside from our defined support zone. So let's have a more deeper conversation on this topic. As always, it is important for us to go through this disclaimer, which is right in front of you. Now, as always, let me bring out the MT4 platform and we will begin our conversation by focusing on the daily time frame. What we see from the daily time frame, it really is that the price bouncing from this particular area. Now, this area is classified as a support area area in our previous gold video we talked about the possibility of gold prices moving to the upside because this was the area where we saw this massive bounce in gold prices however having said this that yes we got this area right yes the prices are moving to the upside yes we have been able to see that the prices were oversold and a retracement is due all of that is true but what is quite important at the same time really is for us to pay attention to one particular factor and that is the price overall is still very much in a downward trend now what do i mean by that that means that the price is trading to the downside the reason for that is because when we look at our three important moving averages, your 50, 100, and 200 principal moving average, what we see from them is the price is still trading to below these important moving averages. Now, as long as the price continues to trade below these moving averages, we cannot say firmly that the price has changed its direction. Now, in order for the gold price to clear that particular obstacle, what we really need is the price moving above the 50 day simple moving average. For in terms of RSI, we are still very far from reaching oversold areas because we are still close to that 30 price, uh, uh, 30 RSI, which means that prices are oversold. Or, in other words, it means that prices are likely to continue their journey to the upside. Now, if we start looking at the small term time frame, such as the four hour time frame, this is where we in the start to see more bullish sign and ever. To begin with, we see that the price has crossed above the 30 day simple moving average, which is so 50 day simple moving average, which is really an encouraging sign. And all what we really need to see now is price staying above the 50 day simple moving average and then clearing other obstacles such as the 100 and the 200 day simple moving average so this very this is a very much of an encouraging sign but if the price begins to break below the 50 day simple moving average then we can safely say that the price is very much likely to continue its journey to the downside from here onwards now going back onto our daily time frame given the fact that the price does have the ability to break below the current levels then it also means that we need to define another support zone another meaningful support zone and that is going to be just over here where we saw this bounce and then this area being tested and the price come continuing its journey to the upside now given the fact that these particular areas right over here if i just kind of define them like that this is these are our resistance areas so we need to put everything in uh, uh you know in the, in the same way we need to change our resistance lines color from green to red because green is our support zone and red is, sorry green is our support zone red is our resistance zone similarly for this one we can change this color from blue to green so that it becomes easier for us whenever we look at the price on the chart whether that is our support zone or whether that is our resistance zone so once again to summarize the price has moved from our support zone price is moving to the upside 
price does need to stay above the 50 day simple moving average in other words it needs to stay above that 1713 price level and the but overall the trend is still very much skewed to the downside meaning price is likely to move to the downside rather than uh being at this momentum to continue to the upside however if we clear these obstacles meaning the 50 100 and 200 and then on the daily time frame we also start to challenge and then begins to move above them then we can say that in a very clear way that yes bulls are back now and market will continue its journey from here onwards that's all for now see you guys next time